I woke up in the middle of the night mm -hmm, na, na, na. And I wondered how you're always right It gets me I couldn't see you what you saw in Good morning everyone, happy September! My absolute favorite 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 seasons are about to start i'm an autumn winter kind of girl just in every single sense it's actually september eve for me right now it's the 30 wait is the 31 or 30 days and he said 32 definitely not whichever one all that matters is it's september eve and we have just got the loveliest loveliest day of all things autumn today sorry my camera just fell down but i was in the middle of explaining that i just absolutely love these next four months i feel like they are the most magical that they're the coziest i'm such a home girl as you know and i just feel like these next four months are when our homes like really transform into just the coziest places and somewhere that we really want to be and i just love everything about autumn winter my plan for today is to do some last minute autumn shopping i have to admit i've been doing lots of online shopping already i am that girl that when it hits kind of the beginning of august and i know the shops are going to start to have their autumn stuff in i'm on all the websites doing new in refreshing sorting by newest and seeing all the new bits they have in and i have to say i have got some firm favorites this year which we can talk about later but first up this morning was actually starbucks because they just launched their autumn menu and you girls know that i'm not a coffee girl i I'm no longer a coffee girl. I stopped drinking coffee probably about three years ago because just anxiety. But I was actually talking to my mum the other day about how fondly I look back on when my mum and I used to go Christmas shopping together and we would always, always get a Christmas Starbucks, like a gingerbread latte or something to walk around the shops with and do our Christmas shopping. And it really got me thinking that just because I'm not a coffee girl doesn't mean I have to miss out on the joy of a pumpkin spice latte. I did get an iced one just because that's what I was in the mood for um, but I got a decaf pumpkin spice latte with almond milk and a vegan whip topping and then like the pumpkin spice topping it is so good mm -mm. this morning we are doing all of my favorite favorite stops home sense Matalan we're going to do the range we're going to do B&M we are going to go to the white company because all I need to say is go on the white company and have a look at their autumn bits because they have just completely got it right this year like they have such tasteful neutral pieces that just kind of subtly say autumn without bright orange not that there's anything wrong with that when it's like leaning a bit towards halloween rather than homey autumn hints you know um the white company is stunning stunning at the moment so we will definitely go there um then we'll just see if anywhere else takes our fancy so i'm gonna get on the road let's go to our first stop and then like i said if we have time i will do the haul and decorating today and if not then tomorrow being the first of september feels like a really lovely time to decorate the house as well so either way i will bring you along with me
good morning. It is now the next day. I am sat on my bedroom floor. Some things just feel like the only place to do them is the bedroom floor. That does not sound how I intended it to sound. But you know what I mean? Like some things are just things that you need to do while you're sitting on the floor. I don't know if that makes sense to anyone, but I had all of this stuff downstairs and just the vibe was not right. Sometimes you just need to be sat on the floor, surrounded by all your stuff with an autumn candle burning, a cup of tea down here. The vibes are now perfect. Also, can we just appreciate my new slippers? These are from Tesco. You might remember that last year my slippers were from Tesco and they honestly just do the best slippers. And I feel like slippers never really last more than a year before getting a bit tired and a bit worn out. So my mum and I got matching slippers and I love them they're so warm and I want to show you everything that we picked up there is quite a lot because I've been picking bits up over the past kind of month or so so I've got quite the collection now there's some really really gorgeous bits I have to say like I've got an order from the white company here and you probably saw yesterday but the bits in the white company at the moment I think I even said this yesterday but the white company is just they so get the vibe this autumn oh Ruth's just here with her kangaroo so I feel like maybe let's start with home scent so first things first try not to set anything on fire with the candle I've got two of these cushions which I absolutely love I feel like they look so expensive I feel like they're very country home and they just have this like nice warm I don't even know what color like a greeny gray so they just add some like texture and some color into my home because obviously most of you will know but we are pretty new living in this house the house is still very much like a blank canvas lots of the rooms are very empty and there's no like nice soft furnishings anywhere so i just thought these were lovely to add in a bit of warmth and a bit of color then also from home scent i got this whole set of kind of tableware is that what you call them but bowls and plates basically i actually have some flat plates downstairs as well but i just absolutely love like the rustic finish on these like they've all got these distressed edges and then the cracked kind of glaze on them i thought these were so perfect for like really lovely cozy warm autumn recipes um and just for all year round as well i can imagine like summer salads and stuff in them so really happy with them then i got a new set of tea towels because tea towels get so worn out in this household um, so these are just this checked print and they're in like a really lovely warm colour and things like this are always really reasonably priced at home scent. A little bit of a random one but I got one of these pestle and mortars because number one we don't have one and this is something that Kenny would actually use but also I just thought it was really gorgeous. I really like the dark wood. Again dark wood is very like autumn winter and I thought it would look nice on the side in the kitchen. That was actually reduced to clear, so that was eight pounds. I also bought us a new teapot because my sister very kindly bought us a teapot for one Christmas, one year. But in the move, it got a little bit broken. So now the lid doesn't stay off when we pour it. So Sophie, if you're watching this, I'm sorry about the teapot, but it did break. Um, so I just bought another one. It's only like a one person teapot, but that's all we really need. And I thought this was a really nice, neutral, pretty one. And then I think the final thing from Home Sense, which is basically an autumn essential, is a home scent candle and this one is absolutely first of all gorgeous like it just looks so gorgeous it's peck sniffs which not sure if that's like a home sense brand or not you know like dw home pretty sure that's a home sense brand don't know it's called harvest gathering it's sugared pumpkin and nutmeg and it's just a dream and i just think it's honestly the most beautiful candle it, honestly it smells like an absolute dream but that was actually the only candle i bought or at least so far it's the only candle i bought because i have these ones this one here that's burning and I don't want to spill on myself. It's from last year. I almost forgot to show you this final cushion from Home Sense. Again, I just think it adds some warmth, it adds some texture, some pattern, and I love like the muted tones. I feel like I might put this on the bench that's now in our hallway, which I will show you when we get downstairs. So that's everything for Home Sense. I'm gonna put you back down because I need to sit down and I will show you my white company order. I have been so excited to dig into this. There's a few just general homey bits like this that I will show you. And then there's some very like specific autumn bits. So let me just show you these first. So I didn't realize I'd reached that stage of being an adult where I could love a bath mat, but apparently we've arrived. That's the point that I'm at in life. Um, and I just fell in love with this bath mat. I love the bobbles and I love the stitching around the edges and I just love it. So that's a little bit boring, but also I feel like if you need a bath mat, it's a great one. Let me show you one more thing for the bathroom before we move on to like the autumn, autumn stuff. I bought myself a new bath rack, which is kind of autumn because what better time of the year 
to have a lovely cozy bubble bath with like a autumn bath bomb, candles lit, a good book. I love that it's like a darker wood. I love that it's like a bit more substantial. I think it's solid oak. It was one of the things that I thought when we move into this house, I'll definitely treat myself to. Cause I think I saw it on Molly May's Instagram, YouTube somewhere. And I've just loved it ever since. Then let's talk about autumn stuff, shall we? Like I said, if you love autumn, but you're not like a bright orange girl or like a Halloween kind of a girl. And I think you all love the white company at the moment. Got this little ceramic pumpkin in this cream color. I just thought this would be really beautiful in the middle of our table or something like that. And then also pumpkin related. Got one of these little felt pumpkins, again, just for decorating somewhere, adding like a little touch of autumn somewhere. And then what else did I get? I just got another heart mug. You'll have seen me use these. These are just my favorite mugs, but one of them got broken again in the move. So I got myself another one. And then I think the last thing matches that. I just got the little matching jug, which I think is a milk jug. I was kind of hoping we could use it as a gravy jug, but now that I'm seeing it, it might be a bit small, but very cute nonetheless. And I think that's all the autumn stuff I actually got from the white company so far um but there is so much more in there there's loads of like cute little felt mushrooms um hopefully i showed you a good idea when i went yesterday but they also have their autumn candle and diffuser range in but i've already got one of those downstairs so i just didn't need to pick up a new one but there's loads of really gorgeous like autumn goodness in there so definitely go and have a look okay where are we at let's let me check what's still left up here to show you so these are both from Dunelm. Dunelm had some really really gorgeous dried flowers and pampas grass and that kind of stuff and these two were just my favorites i think when i dig out all my autumn vases these are going to look beautiful so they're both from Dunelm. and then from matalan i picked up quite a few bits actually but most of them were storage jars because they actually had a really really beautiful range of storage jars and we are still yet to organize my pantry downstairs that will probably be in next week's video because i finally have all the jars all of the spice jars and everything here i've washed them all they've been through the dishwasher and we're just waiting for an afternoon to really get organized so i feel like we'll do that next week but anyway aren't they beautiful these ones were actually reduced to clear as well so i think this was like three pounds so i bought quite a few of them and then i just got another door stop because all the doors in this house slam all the time um so i think that's everything from matalan this gorgeous gorgeous wreath that i am so happy with is from the range it was one of the very few autumn pieces that were still in when I went the other day because the range had autumn stuff honestly in June I remember going in with my mum um like they are on Christmas already they are definitely two steps ahead of us far ahead of me like I love Christmas but we're not there yet I'm glad that I did pop in because I love this and I think it's going to look so beautiful in the kitchen and then I think we're on to the final final bits now got these really sweet matches in a glass jar these are from B and M, and I think they were honestly like two pounds or something. Perfect for all our autumn candles. And then finally, finally, these actually came this morning, but I got a linen table runner, some linen napkins, and then also these little napkin rings to do like a really lovely autumn table set up. That's my vision, which we are hopefully going to bring to life this afternoon. And that is all the newness for autumn this year. It actually seems like quite a lot. In my defense, we are quite new in this house and I have been honestly dreaming since we bought this house. Like the whole time we were renovating, all I could think about was how cozy I could make it when it comes to autumn. And again, Christmas. I know we shouldn't be mentioning the word Christmas, but I am going all out for Christmas this year. I just wanted to get a few new bits to make it feel extra special and exciting for our first year in the house. I have been talking for ages and ages and I'm really hungry now. It's actually lunchtime. So I'm thinking let's go make some lunch and then we'll kind of decorate a little bit after lunch. I don't feel like making tomato soup wearing an all cream outfit is a very good idea. So I put this cord on, which I have literally not taken off since it arrived in the post. It's from a brand called Another Version and they very kindly sent it to me, but it's this gorgeous like dark chocolate brown. I feel like 
the dream colour for autumn. And what I love about it, which I can't really show you here, I'm not that flexible, um, but the joggers are like straight cut, so they don't have a cuff on the ankle, which I just really love. And I wear this all the time. I wear it around the house, I wear it to walk through, and I just love it. So I thought I would tell you where it's from because I know you guys will probably love it as well. But I'm making my tomato soup. This is the best recipe ever. Whenever I see people make tomato soup, they always roast the garlic and the tomatoes first, which I'm sure is delicious, but quite time consuming. So this is my like super easy tomato soup and I personally think it is so yummy. I don't feel like you need to roast everything first with this recipe. Filming like a little reel to go with this, I will put the full recipe in the description of my reel. Um, but it's also in other videos and also you can kind of get the gist because I never use like actual recipes. I always just kind of, go with what looks like the right proportions when I'm cooking. I will do my best to make it into a recipe and I'll put that in the reel. So I'm gonna finish making my soup, eat my lunch, and then we can get decorating. While the soup is cooking, I would show you the bench in our hallway. Um, so this is the bench, this is our hallway. We haven't sorted out this floor yet. We need to do the same like cleaning processing that we did to the floor in the living room through there. Um, so the floor looks a bit rough, but this is our little entryway and this is the bench, which I absolutely love. It's obviously got all of our shoes underneath, but like I said, I got this from HomeSense and I love the way it's rounded and I love this like rounded, hello. Hello. It just feels like really, really good quality. And then this is the cushion I showed you earlier. This is kind of where I imagined I might put it. Um, I wasn't sure on this bench to begin with because this is not a very wide hallway and I didn't know whether maybe it filled the space a little bit too much, but there's actually plenty of room. It doesn't kind of obstruct anything. And we really needed somewhere to hide all of our shoes. So I'm really, really pleased with it. I think even if, oh, that's a bit of label, but I think even if we don't keep it in the hallway, I think we'll keep it somewhere in the house because I just can't part with it now. I think it's so nice. <laughs> just changed back into what I was wearing this morning but I've realized that's a little bit short-sighted because after we've decorated I'm going to take Rue for a walk and cook dinner and all things that I need the other outfit back for but nevertheless we're here now so I've been having a little bit of a think and I think for today we'll just focus on decorating the kitchen because most of the stuff that I have so far is actually for the kitchen I've got a few other bits on the way for other rooms and they're not quite here yet so I thought we'll do that in next week's video so I've just made a start on clearing some space up here in the kitchen on the shelf this was probably the bit that I was most excited to decorate because I've never had shelves in my kitchen before and the kitchen is probably the room that we spend the most time in so I really just wanted it to feel like extra cozy so I'm going to finish clearing this space and then let's get decorating <music>
kitchen. I couldn't get this to hang, so we kind of need to wait for Kenny to come home and come up with some DIY hack to hang this on here. Like I said, it's very minimal. It's just adding in a few warmer tones, some textures, some dried flowers, some lovely scented candles, and a little ceramic pumpkin because you can't have no pumpkin. This is the door down to the basement where like my office and stuff is. And I just thought it looks really pretty there. But yeah, I'm really happy with how it's looking in here. Like I said, nothing too crazy. And obviously we've got the rest of the house to do, um, which we'll do over the next couple of weeks when things start to arrive. And I'm keeping my fingers crossed that we can get a new sofa and just make the living room what I really hope it will be for autumn winter because obviously we've got the lovely wood burner in there and I really envisage we spend loads of time in there. But at the moment we don't. So I'm hoping once we've made it into the room that we want, I'll spend a lot more time in there but anyway that's the kitchen all done i think i'm going to take rue out for a quick kind of early evening walk and then kenny should be home we can cook dinner and we can enjoy our new little dinner setup okay we're back in the kitchen it's dinner time kenny is here now and we are about to make creamy mushroom pasta which is one of my favorites and kenny has got this new way of cooking mushrooms that he got from some chef and they are just so good they're like really meaty and just so yum and we've not made pasta with them yet so i'm excited How dinner turned out we've got creamy mushroom pasta with some beetroot and kale on the side which looks so good and then kenny also made us some bruschetta and this is the deliciously ala pasta which is so so good you can get it from waitrose i'm not sure where else has it but definitely probably sainsbury's actually they have some of the deliciously ala stuff um but yum how good and it's so cozy with this little autumnal setup We've just finished dinner, we've tidied the whole kitchen. I am so tired now, like absolutely exhausted. If I could just close my eyes, not take off my makeup and just go to sleep with like all the cushions on the bed, that would be the dream, fully dressed as well. Um, but no, I have to go do, isn't it just the worst being a girl? Like when you're so, so tired, there's sometimes just nothing worse than having to go do your full, take off your makeup skincare situation. But anyway, it has to be done. So that is what I'm about to go do. I'm gonna take off all my makeup. I'm gonna put my cozy pajamas on, get into bed and finally finish my book because I really want to start a new book. Um, I think I'm gonna read The Foundling because I feel like that's gonna be very like cozy, maybe a little bit spooky kind of. Um, or, is that, or is that The Glass House? One of those two books, either The Glass House or The Foundling. I think they're like set in the 1700s. I'm kind of making that up. 1700s is that right 1500s 1600s sometime um and i think it's like a little bit spooky so i feel like that's the perfect autumn read so i need to finish up the one i'm reading now i know that i'm not going to thank myself for this angle when i come to edit i really hope you've enjoyed spending the last couple of days with me i hope you're excited for september if you're excited for all the cozy content um let me know what you would like to see you always give me the best ideas 
as well for things to include. We're still going on the Facebook group. I've actually just posted today my autumn intentions on there. So kind of like my daily non-negotiables and my weekly non-negotiables for September. So I will leave links to that in the description. And I think other than that, we will catch up next Sunday where it's gonna be a big autumn vlog. We'll decorate the rest of the house. We'll organize the pantry and just do loads of lovely, cozy autumnal things to really get us into the mood. Thank you so, so much for being here. Thank you for watching and I will catch up with you next Sunday. I can't wait. Bye guys.